Do you see them out there, Chris? Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Dude, there's a lot of them right there. You see all those fish? Cast, cast out there now. Yeah, this is a little bit better. I got them. You yeah. cast out. There's a bunch of fish right there. Oh, here we go. There were some in there. Yep, there he is. I was going to say, I saw one come out after that. <laughs> What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. I'm just going to give you a little preview. This isn't even the biggest one, not even close actually to the biggest fish that we caught today. Um, I'm shooting my intro after the fact. We've already fished today and we have absolutely lit them up. It was a phenomenal day in the water. Uh, you guys are about to see it starts out pretty slow. There is a very large fish caught in the beginning, uh, but we figure out this pattern and it goes freaking off. So. Uh, it's going to be an awesome video. Right before we jump into the fishing though, I just want to talk about today's video sponsor, Carl's Bait and Tackle. You guys know them and love them. It's an online tackle retail shop. Uh, you can buy all your tackle there. That's pretty much where I stocked up, especially for spring. I just made a huge order on there. Uh, a lot of the stuff that you guys are going to see me using the video I bought on there. But if you guys are a member of Carl's Club, uh, it's about 50 bucks a month. You get free shipping. You get tackle insurance. So if you lose a lure, you can actually make a claim, get a brand new lure back. Uh, and you also could save up to like 40% off on pretty much everything on the site too. So 20 to 30% off on most items and up to 40 on some of their items as well too. So if you guys order a lot of fishing tackle, you guys might want to look into it. You get like, like I said, free shipping and also you get to save a huge percentage on your order. So check that out in the link down below. But like I said, we are about to put an absolute clinic on using Active Target. Uh, you guys have probably seen it in my last video. We used it a little bit, saw a few fish eat. Uh, today was absolutely insane how many fish we actually watched eat the swim bait. So check it out guys. We're about to get right into the fishing. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Got him. Let's go. Big, big one. Net. Yeah. No. It's a good one. I'll let him do. That's a three pounder. Let's go. Let's go, baby. That's a three pounder. First one of the day. Let's go. On the jig. On the jig. Okay. Okay. Up in about three foot of water. Four foot of water. Chris saw him on active target right there. Three pounder. You saw that fish? Well, I saw like three of them lined up. Yeah. And I just casted it kind of behind them. So let me let me show you guys here. Let me show you guys what we're looking at here. So, on active target, which right now it's set a little bit deeper because we were just off off the shore here. You see these little fish swimming around down there? That that's probably not a bass. That looks more like a bluegill. But even those ones running that little hump right there might be a, a tad bit bigger. Let me let me reset this uh, to go shallower because this is set way too deep for where we're at. We're looking for these blobs swimming around down there, and uh, especially if you can find two or three, a little bit of competition gets going, and uh, you flip a jig on there, it's usually over because those three fish, they're all going to be fighting over that food. That's what Chris just did right there. So we're going to look around, try to find some more blobs, and uh, try to put this in a couple fish's faces. That's the first one. We've been out here probably for 20, 30 minutes just trying to figure it out. We tried a little bit deeper first off. Um, and with the sun out, I think these fish are probably going to be pushing up on these flats. So, probably going to key in on this, this shallower water bite. Try to find some more fish like that. Some good grass right there, too. Yeah. That's another cool thing about Active Target Live Scope is you can see grass that is way out in front of you. You, don't, you can't only graph underneath the boat anymore. So, it's really key for finding a little isolated piles of grass. Got them. Big one or? Yeah. That? <laughs> That's a big one. There we go. Another three pounder. <laughs> Give or take. He might be a little bit smaller. <laughs> hey buddy, how does that make Ooh, you feel? It just feels so good. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> it's so, been a long winter. Yeah, probably a little bit less. Probably like a two and a half, but another one on that jig. That one was a little bit deeper. I picked up this trap, started hucking around this flat, and he still he just chucked the jig right off the back side of the boat there. That one's digging, dude. Crushed. Another digging. Another good one. If you guys watched the last video, we did get out and fish yesterday, uh, but we went to a lake that's got a lot more quantity. Uh, not a lot of big ones. Uh, Tyler that was with us actually caught the biggest one, about a three-pounder, probably about the size of the first one Chris caught, but caught a lot of like 15 inches, and it was a lot of fun. Today we're searching after a true mega giant. So, so far, obviously, you guys can see this lake's got some pretty good quality, like a three and a two and a half, but we're searching for like a five plus, maybe even a six or a seven. So there's really, really big fish in here. We're gonna see what happens, but Chris is whipping my butt so far. I might have to switch to black and blue. I, I'm not sure 
Um, how I like this green pumpkin in this lake, it's a little bit stained. I had this on from yesterday, which the lake was a tad bit clearer. So I might put a black and blue on. If he gets one more bite, we're probably going to switch to black and blue. We'll stick with green pumpkin for now, but as you guys can see, she kind of blends in with this water, which I'm not a huge fan of. You want that really stark contrast that black and blue will provide. So we'll see. We'll cast this around a little bit more, but if he cracks another three pounder, we're switching for sure, hands down. See if we can get bit. I keep putting the jig down too, and then he cracks another one. We got to keep this in our hand, I think. Got him. Dude, he freaking cracked it. I got him. I got him. Thank you. Well, boys, girls, we switched up to black and blue anyway. I told you I was going to wait for Chris to catch one more, but I just felt like I wanted I wanted the confidence of having it on. So switched up, probably took about seven or eight casts, saw, I don't know, probably three or four fish down here on the graph. Like I said, we're just looking for those little blobs, an active target. Flipped it out there and uh, got our first one of the day. About the same size as all the ones we caught in that last video, about a 15 inch or so. Chris, Chris definitely has the two big ones uh, for the day, but it still feels good to get one out of the way there. Nice, solid 15 inch fish. First jig bass of the year, too. Gotta love cracking a cracking back on one. All right, there she goes. We're gonna catch bigger ones, like I told you. We're after Bessie today. That's really nothing, nothing compared to what we're trying to accomplish. So, got him? Big one? Yeah, 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 that's a great big one. It's a great big one, dude. <laughs> Don't stop. Yo, Chris has got a shot. This is over after, boys. We came here for a big one. Chris has got a freaking big one. That was like such an unassuming bite, dude. dude he just barely mouthed it. I'm the little single swimmer. You've got to be kidding me. Hey, you did it, dude. Look at what he ate. Hey, man, you did it. <laughs> I told you guys, we're, we're after a five plus today. I think that that's going to do it. And you hold him. You take him. You so good. It was in there. It was, it was good. We're in the roof. Let me get the scale. Let me see if I got a scale. Are you kidding me? Dude, that's got to be, that's got to be over five. That's got to be a fiver. But so tall and long. It's going to be under five. No, you're wrong. It'll be close. You're wrong. Chris is wrong. Watch. Coin it right now. Damn it. <laughs> Just under close, five pounds. Close though? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 4.76. <laughs> she's too skinny. I guess looking at her now, and also just because I, I know I'm wrong for sure now, she is. She's a bit skinny. She's just so big bodied though. Throw in the box. You wanna? We can keep a couple big ones. Yeah, I mean, it's a big one. Yeah. If we catch any yeah, if we get some more big ones, we'll get our best five going. Should have probably kept that three pounder, but you know. Almost a, almost a five, you know. Told you guys. We're gonna catch some big ones today. That's what we're after. That's a Dude, he caught that fish on little <laughs> tiny swim bait, little like three inch swim bait with a little oak shear head. Biggins. I thought it was going to go five. I, I forgot what big bass look like, you know. <laughs> I literally had to flip the camera on, guys. So we just moved spots and literally dropped the trolling motor and made a cast, reeled it like twice, and just caught my third bass of the day. I'm still kind of stuck on these little guys. Chris has got that freaking almost five and a couple of, like a three and almost three, but. You know, we're out here. We're catching fish. Hopefully one of these one of these ones I run into is gonna be a big one. That was really cool. I wish that I would have had the camera rolling. I kind of forgot to turn it on. Legit. Instantaneous. I saw like three fish on the graph, cast it out and doink. That was sick. Looks like there's a couple more over there. Maybe we can pop another one for you guys and you guys can actually see it this time. Do you see them out there, Chris? Oh yeah. Yep, yep. Dude, there's a lot of them right there. Do you see all those fish? Cast cast out there now. Yeah, this is a little bit better. I got them. You yeah. cast out. There's a bunch of fish right there. Yeah. Dude. Dude. <laughs> Alright guys, we got the camera rolling now. Chris is gonna catch one. There was there was like 30 fish out there. There was like freaking so many. It's a little bit better fish. Didn't want to boat flip around the spinning rod. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, put him in the well just for now because I don't want to drop him back in. Sometimes, if you guys got like a school or something, if you drop the fish back in there, they'll stop biting. So, I didn't realize there was that many fish right there, so I threw that last one back, but I'm going to put him in the well for a sec. Try to keep these fish fired up. 
unfortunately too, that thing afraid of my line. Is a better one, dude. Good one. <laughs> there was so many fish again. You just gotta coax them into biting. They're all bass. I know it. They look so much different than the marks that we were seeing over there. That's so crazy. That's so freaking crazy. Look at how she's eating that swim bait, too, guys. <clears throat> Absolutely freaking crushing that Kai Tech. Another like two and a half pounder. That's two back-to-back -back good ones for me. Heck yes, finally. Finally finding some that are actually decent size and eating. Very hungry, very ravenous bass. Got him. There he is. I watched him. Another another decent one? Dude, <laughs> that's like the most insane bite of all time. Like I'm just finding like lines where there's like six or seven dots in a row and just reeling it right alongside all of them. And then one of them eats. Slow, as slow as I can. Just trying to keep it right above them. It's another like two-ish pounder. Seems like all the ones over here have been about the exact same size. We haven't caught any really big ones over here, but still all, all pretty solid quality. And like I said, literally every single one has ate that swim bait. Up on the roof of the mouth, deep. This thing's got it hooked so weird. There we go. Another two pounder. Yeah, I, <laughs> I just got a bite at the same time. A little tap. Oh, yep, there he is. He came back for it. It's little. Oh, he's another okay one. Dude, you, yeah, you gotta have like a lighter weight and maybe even a bigger swim bait just to have like that paddle action. Just like a little, just so you have like the resistance of the tail and stuff. Just to keep it above him. Trying to keep it low key. There's a lot of boats over here. No net or nothing unless we get a giant. Oh, probably a little bit smaller, almost a two pounder. We figured out the deal, guys. We had a pretty slow morning, caught a couple random ones on a jig. Chris caught one of that Okashira, that's a that's a big one. Obviously you guys saw almost a five pounder, but then it was super slow, like two hours of almost nothing. Move spots, and like I said, caught that one first cast and we have not looked back since then. Going off big time. There were some in there. Yep, there he is. I was gonna say I saw one come out after that. <laughs> Wicked ridiculous, dude. This one more than be a good one. Hard to tell. Oh yeah, that's a I mean dude, they're all the same. They're all cookie cutters. Dude, that is so crazy though. I watched that. Fishing is so freaking different now. <laughs> Like, we'd be catching probably about half the fish that we're catching right now, guys. We'd be out on this flat, picking them apart, you know, slowly but surely. But the fact that I can literally just see, like, a school of bait fish, and there's a couple of, you know, big blobs just kind of sitting inside of there. I know exactly when they're going to eat and everything. It's crazy. It's freaking so different. So, so different from, you know, last year when we didn't really have this on the boat. So, another solid one. I'll toss this one in the well, too. Just to try to not mess the school up too much once again. That is going to be a wrap on today's video, guys. We started out pretty slow. I caught one fish on a jig. Chris caught a couple nice ones on the jig. He had that really big one on the swim bait. We had a huge lull, and then we finally figured out that pattern, and I was seeing every single fish that we caught today pretty much on active target. It was an awesome day. Um, I didn't even film for like the last two hours. I caught so many more, two, two and a half pounders that it really didn't matter. You guys saw me do it like 10 times. You didn't want to see me do it 10, 15 more times because it was the exact same thing over and over. 
Um, right now, I will toss up on the screen the two biggest fish of the day. Chris caught that one that was just under five pounds, and right at the end there, I caught one probably around three and a half pounds. So we caught a couple nice fish, but obviously today it was more about the quantity. Uh, we didn't get the true giant. I mean, a four and three quarter pounder is not tiny by any means, but we never caught that six or seven like we were go going after today. But Still great, you gotta love it when you can catch so many two pounders and when you can watch them eat at an active target, it makes it even better, but. If you guys wanna check out today's video sponsor, Carl's Bait and Tackle, it's gonna be in the description down below, but on that note, I will catch you guys in the next video.